Bay Area doctor is helping pioneer a technique to help children with a debilitating disorder. As Simon Perez reports, a study out today shows it's working for almost all the kids who've tried it. When five-year-old Cadell started coughing sporadically and uncontrollably, doctors tried a variety of tests and medications. Does something feel like it's moving around in my throat? But after more than two years, nothing had worked. That's when a neurologist finally diagnosed him with Tourette syndrome, something Menlo Park pediatrician Jeff Lazarus describes as a neurobehavioral disorder marked by motor and vocal tics that come and go. When someone comes into school and it's like this, or making all sorts of noise and other movements, that is socially unacceptable. The kids are embarrassed, they're humiliated. That was the case for nine-year-old Jalen Arnold. His uncontrollable arm twitches subjected him to relentless teasing. In Cadell's case, a teacher even kicked him out of class for being disruptive. When I can help the child like that, that's the most rewarding part of my practice. But Lazarus says the medications to control the condition are often ineffective and can trigger tremendous side effects. His answer? Use the power of the patient's own mind instead. We take patients who are in a highly focused state of mind and help them to create an empowering experience. It's called self-hypnosis. For Cadell, the idea was to teach him to recognize when a cough was coming and then visualize a stop sign with the power to suppress it. Breakthrough. Put up a stop sign and the little boy goes, and he, he was about to cough, but he was able to control it. And Cadell isn't alone in mastering the technique. Lazarus, with colleague Susan Klein, tracked 33 children trying self-hypnosis. In their study, published today in the Journal of Development and Behavioral Pediatrics, the pair reports 79% got control over their tics to the point of personal satisfaction. They feel thrilled. They're empowered. They feel wonderful about themselves. Cadell has grown into a strong 17-year-old with college football prospects. He has calmed his coughing tick without using medication and hasn't needed self-hypnosis now for almost a year. For kids with Tourette's, I just suggest that they use self-hypnosis on a daily basis until their tics start to calm down and they're feeling better about themselves. When you can treat something with your mind, there are clearly no side effects. So what's the downside? I'm Simon Perez, CBS 5. And we spoke to another pediatrician not involved with that study who said he'd be open to referring Tourette's patients for self-hypnosis. However, he'd be reluctant to eliminate medication completely because success of self-hypnosis depends on the motivation of the young patient. We'll be right back.